So I've got to the point where I have uh, marked the centre of enlargement, which is at 2-0 there. And now I'm looking to enlarge this shape by scale factor 3. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from this centre of enlargement each time. I'm going to count how far uh, I've got to go to get to each corner. So to get to this corner, I've got to come along 1 and up 1. Now scale factor 3, that means I've got to come along 3 and then up 3. So everything's got to be 3 times the spin. So that corner is now going to end up there. <clears throat> to get to this corner, I need to go along one and back one. Oh, sorry, along one, up one. So now I need to go along three, up three. So that corner will now be there. And to get to this corner, I've gone along one and up two. So now, times that by three, I need to go along three and up six. So that corner is going to end up there. So in fact, my uh, new shape should look like this. Should be fixed there. And every line should be three times longer than it was before. On this question here, it asks me to describe fully the single transformation which maps A onto B. So I can see that it's not re been reflected, it's a different size, so it's not been translated uh, or reflected or even rotated either. <clears throat> so I can see from my list of transformations that it's definitely enlargement. So I'm going to write enlargement to give me one mark, enlargement. So that can give me one mark, but I've got to give the other details here about the enlargement to make sure they get all the marks. So the scale factor, enlargement, scale factor. Now, if I look at that, that line there is two, of length two, and that is of length four. So really, it's uh, got two times bigger, and that length one, and that length two, so yeah, it's two times bigger. So the scale factor is two. Also, I need to say with the enlargement what the center of enlargement is. So I'm going to go for center of enlargement. And I need to give that as a coordinate. And the way I do that is this. I need to get my ruler now, really carefully. Um, line. So using my ruler on my page, I take a corner on the new shape and I join it up to the same corner on the old shape, but I carry the line going on um, like that. And actually what I've done is I've just, I haven't quite met the corner there probably, so I'm actually going to do that again. So I'm going right from the corner here to the same corner on the, on the original shape and carry the line going. I'm going to do the same with another corner, join it to its original corner and carry the line on going. So straight lines there. Where the two lines meet, now that is my centre of enlargement. And the centre of enlargement there is at 4, 0. So I'm going to write that there. So there we go. That's an enlargement for one mark. Scale factor 2 for a second mark. And centre of enlargement 4, 0 for, full, uh, for the full three marks there. Okay. So I'm going to get you to have a go at some yourself now. What I've done is I've put some exam questions on there. They are a mixture of these sorts of questions, I want you to have a go at them, and then after each one it's the set of answers, so I'll just uh, sort of quickly click through them with the mouse as we go. So what you might want to do with each one is you might want to copy it out onto, into your maths book, you might want to uh, draw it onto square paper somehow to have a go at it, use tracing paper where you feel you need to. You might even, if you haven't got any square paper, you might want to just Google square paper template so you've got some square paper there and print it out. But anyway, have a go at this. First of all, rotate the shaded shape 90 degrees clockwise about the point zero. Okay? So, yeah, that's it. When you're doing each question, if you just pause it so you can get a good look at it. Okay, there's your answer for the first one. Next one. Describe fully the single transformation that will map shape P onto shape Q. And there's your answer there. It's translation, so I've named the transformation for one mark, and I've given the details, and with the translation you need a vector, so the details there, three, one. It's gone across one, two, three, and down one. So this one says, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A 
onto triangle B for two marks. There's your answer there, reflection in the y-axis. So that's there for two marks, that's a reflection in the y-axis. Next one. Describe fully the single transformation which maps shape P onto shape Q for three marks. Okay, and there, for one mark, it's an enlargement. Secondly, scale factor is scale factor 2, that's 2, that's 4, so it's got twi each line is twice as big. Center of enlargement is 1, 0. Triangle T has been drawn on the grid. Rotate T 180 degrees about the point 1, 0. Label the new triangle A. And there it should be. On this one, they, they happen to have drawn the centre of rotation, therefore, you just put it by putting it across there. So that's where it should have ended up. On the grid, reflect shape A in the line x equals minus 1. So your first job here is to identify the line x equals minus 1 and draw that on and then you need to reflect the shape in that line. So it's two squares away there, so it needs to be two squares away that side. Okay? Describe fully the single transformation that will map shape P onto shape Q. And that is a translation um, and the translation vector there is minus 6, minus 1. Now be careful because many people get them the wrong way around um, on this question. Um, uh, that will map shape P onto Q, so P onto Q. We've come back 6 and down 1. So minus 6, minus 1. Draw an enlargement of scale factor 3 of shape B. And on this one here, um, it didn't actually ask you, it didn't give you a centre of enlargement, so it doesn't matter where you draw it, as long as every line is three times longer than it was before. So hopefully that's given you a, a sort of quick pit stop revision um, of transformations, which is a, a huge topic. Um, yeah, so lots of practice needed there.